with we're Raycon Boyette now, and obviously a 252 product. Wilson Fike followed your career for many years, and it's great you're like me. You came back home, right, Coach? Yeah. Yes, I did. As you said, man, 252 is home. I love it. I, I was even telling Coach Houston when he um, – during the interview process, you ain't gonna find another coach that has 252 as a tattoo. So I think that that kind of helped me in this thing, you no. Know? But yeah, it feels really good to be back and, and to be back down down east and be back home and just the love and the energy around pirate football is what I know, is what I grew up in. I played my first college football game in this stadium at Duke as a freshman. So this is home and I'm, I'm so glad and happy to be here and just being engulfed with the culture and the energy around football has been amazing. Uh, talk about being a recruiter because uh, we both uh, both of us know uh, high school coaches and they brag about you about being a great recruiter, being uh, here, there, and everywhere. So when I heard that you were coming back home, knowing your reputation, yes. your reputation uh, precedes you, yes. uh, that you're a great recruiter. Talk about that, especially for kids that are like my son that are in the 252. <laughs> well, I think it's about <clears throat> relationships. Um, one of the biggest things is myself building relationships with the high school coaches, and you know we've done a good job of doing that. And so just being back, I did try to do a great job of it even before I was here. So coming back home here and now, just being amongst all the guys even more and just feeling even closer to the all of them now I think is key but when you talk about relationships or uh, recruiting I think it's about the relationships and communication and that's one of the two of the biggest things that in, re in relationships period that we all got to just focus on and I try to make sure that I have genuine relationships with kids with coaches with parents all the way around making sure that I'm communicating with them on a consistent basis and doing the right things to show them this is home this is where you need to be and I think we have some great recruiters on this dang staff, and so we have a chance, and we've been doing really, really well within our recruiting, so we'll, we'll keep rolling and keep the damn hammer down and keep driving them, driving them recruits home. I know with you being at Wilson Fike and you wanted a great education and you went to Duke University. Not that there's anything wrong with East Carolina. I'm a yes. product of East Carolina. Nope. Uh, don't judge me by <laughs> this university. But uh, as far as that, uh, there are a lot of kids like yourself that want to get out of the 252. Yes. How do you say, hey, you can get a great education and uh, come here to East Carolina and play ball? I think just that. I think the biggest thing is them just knowing because for me, you know, a lot of times kids are like, I want to get away from home. I want to get away from home. Well, you know, you want to until that happens now. And kind of like the grass is greener on the other side until you get there and it's turf and it's fake. You know what I mean? And so you don't you want to make sure that you understand what you're doing and, and where you're going. But also, what are you looking for? And everybody in the 252 has everything that they need here at East Carolina University. You have the ability to get a great education first and foremost, and I think that's where it starts. And tell me where you're gonna find better football in this state. From east to west, tell me where you're gonna find a better football program and the consistency of what we've had here over the years, you're not gonna find that. And then the third thing I think is about the relationships and everybody just understanding ECU and the coaches and Mike Houston and who we have here, hey, we are North Carolina guys. We are from here. So feel free to come on down, check us out. And a lot of times people get here and they're like, oh, wow, I didn't know y'all had all this. Yes, because you close your mind off. Stop thinking small and come on over here to East Carolina. Come on over here to the eastern part of North Carolina and see what we have to offer and see the energy and see the love that we have that surrounds the game of football. I'd be damned if you want to go anywhere else. You're crazy as heck, in my opinion. Well, if I were not too old and if I had talent, I would come here. You sold, you sold me. Hey, look, you sold me. I'm ready to Some, go now. Hey, look, I'd be like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> <laughs> Back to school. <laughs> right, right. But no, but go ahead. No, no, that's fine. I was just going to talk about uh, the addition you bring as far as I know with wide receivers. I believe you're coaching them. And that was one of the things that people were concerned with, losing Tyler Sneed. And you can start in the – but it seems like since camp has started – there's a lot more confidence, even in fans, people you, if you're pumping gas, you're talking to people, you're at work, and yeah. a lot of people are not as concerned about the wide receiver room as they were. Yeah, well, um, that's a testament to the work that the guys have put in. 
the, the wide receivers have put in a lot of work. They're doing a really, really good job. They've worked their tails off here in camp. They've worked their tails off since I got here in the spring. And when I, you can't ask for anything other than that, man. That's the one thing that I tell them. I want you to first and foremost play with great effort. Do everything with great effort. Effort is the, is the separator in life, in my opinion, for a lot of different things. And that's a broad statement, but it's very general once you break it down to just straight effort in everything it is that you do. Outwork everybody. And then, you know, we, we added some new pieces to the room. So obviously that helped. Talent always helps to, to ease people's minds. But the biggest thing is we have to go out there September 3rd. We have to go out there September 10th, 17th, the 24th, and all the way throughout our season and not only just be about who we can be on paper. We have to show up, we have to get up, and we have to be who we know that we can be every single week. And I think that starts in practice. We cannot fold, we cannot give in to any portion in practice. Every practice in which we are out there, every minute is not a practice. We look at it as game reps. Every time you are out there, you're playing probably as minimum small amount of games as you possibly can. So we need to have game reps and not practice reps when we're out there. And I think that's a big difference as to who we are and the confidence that we've gained ourselves, but obviously around everybody surrounding East Carolina football. Last question for you. What can people expect definitely from the wide receivers on September 3rd in this season? I expect us, and you can expect us to play with a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and be able to execute and go make a lot of damn plays for this offense. And the biggest thing for us is when I say make plays, people think that for us it's just about catching the football and doing different things when it's in our hands. No, we're going to be the best damn blockers in the country. And I put, I put a lot of energy into what they do. They put a lot of energy and pride into what they do. And I feel really confident that we have the ability to do that. Now, again, I can say that right here sitting here. I know that. We have to go out and prove that and put that on the field to make those words true. Coach, good luck to you. I know that you guys have been busy. Thanks for spending some time with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Go Pirates. Every yard, every first down, every touchdown with the key.